everyone thank you for joining us today uh, we are in a completely different location and no we've not upgraded the studio updated it we were robbed would you believe our studio got yes. broken into that was a, a fun experience so we are now using this studio for the next couple of uh, weeks while we kind of get a few things sorted in our offices and everything yeah so bear with us uh the next few videos will probably look like this um but we are getting everything together in the background you know can't hold us down we and should coming back we stronger. shall prevail uh-huh. and we're coming back stronger we got some really can't get rid of us the videos <laughs> are gonna stay we've got some interesting stuff coming out actually i think we've uh, redesigned quite a few things so i'm excited to see what everything looks like very 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 soon yeah always got to use these things as an opportunity to uh improve so mm. let's hope we can do that Improving, that's what we're all about, aren't we, T? Uh-huh. We are all about improving on the Canopy Candid Show. <laughs> I'm just trying. Mm. Just trying. Sometimes we're tired. Um, so what is the topic for today? This is a topic that has come out of uh, comments and emails and messages on Instagram. So when we drop the Z-Light video, uh-huh. and it's, got, it's a term I want to use, I want to say it loudly... <laughs> Uh, a few people got really angry because mm-hmm. apparently revealing the truth of the Zilla industry wasn't something that we should have done. I don't understand why. And then I give an example. Someone dropped a comment and they were like, tell this guy to go go away with his comments about aluminium in zeolites. What's he talking about? This doesn't make sense. He's chatting shit. And I'm like, right. So as anyone knows me, I love my research, so let me put this to bed. Because I think it's time to just put this to bed. Right, T? Go for it. All right, cool. I love it. So, zeolites contain aluminium. This is a fact. We know this is true, okay? Mm-hmm. It's, part of the, it's part of the fact of the matter, but it's very true. So let's not pretend they don't. Let's yeah. just talk about it. Yeah, let's talk if about it. If you're pretending that they don't, then I'm questioning you. Yeah, and it was, it was actually a practitioner emailed me, and she was like, Dilly, my practitioner group leader said that your product could be unsafe when people take it, and it could be releasing toxins to the system. Guess what, guys? We actually proved it didn't. And so let me start with the basics. The zeolite clump to low light has a structure, and it's called an aluminosilica. That's a mixture of aluminium and silica, and they're combined together. It makes like a tetrahedron shape. And what happens when you look at that structure, it's made part of that. I'm not going to say the words again. It makes the structure. And what it means is that it doesn't break or remove apart. It's what's used as like a, it's like what you use to bind to things. And when it pulls toxins in, it's called absorbing. And when it's on the outer surface, it's called adsorbing. Now, this structure is six parts silica to one to two parts aluminium. And when the process goes through of toxoprevent, it, you, you have to break down this structure to make sure you select those particular particles. It's actually, if you look at what makes our patent, that's what makes it. What happens, this aluminium silica structure, you have to show that when it enters the body, it doesn't break down. And so what they had to do was, that, was to actually get a medical device licensing was we had to run these studies over and over again and by the way just so you're all aware not going to hide anything the studies are linked in the description because we can actually publish this data it's readily available it's on the website it's all there and what we had to do was we had to get that structure we had to measure the aluminium content which is one to two particles and six parts silica we then had to simulate the digestive tract and we had to check what it did in the system we then did in vivo studies of humans and we actually showed it absorbed more aluminium from the product now here's the crazy thing so when we people have commented on this they've gone oh but you know zillites all came aluminium and people been taking them for years and ages and there's no problem with it do you not understand the stupidity of that comment right and i'm gonna i'm gonna school people in this right and I'm going to be blunt about it because I'm passionate about this stuff and it gets me, it does get me a little bit riled up. But what they don't understand is heavy metal poisoning isn't this like sudden click of a finger, you suddenly come out all these symptoms and you suddenly have these problems. It's based over time, it's continuous exposure to toxicity where your body starts having those issues. And so no one's done these longevity studies. Whereas because we're a medical device, we have to do longevity studies. 
And so these comments that come across, they're from a place where people actually do not understand zeolites and they don't understand the function and the process of it. And it's amusing in some ways, I guess, but it also shows you the lack of education, how we've hidden behind like lack of education and basically used marketing gimmicks and all these like colorful languages and really good like, you know, um, influencers, should we call them, to like promote the products. And so, yeah. And there's another part to this. Now, if you look at the the purple box, so the toxic ready plus sachets, they add we have to add magnesium and calcium carbonate into them. And the reason being is the carbonate reduces stomach acid, which prevents the actual structure from being broken down by acid. So that gets rid of that argument as well. But if you look at other zeolite products in the market, they don't add anything in there. It's just pure powder in a tub or in a glass jar or or dare I say it, in a liquid dropper which is dangerous mm-hmm. and I can I can say that I can say that with confidence because I haven't seen the data I've requested it I've had people request it and we've never seen the safety data but we hold we hold people to a standard but it's time now to hold people to task for what the things that they're saying and the things that they're doing and you know since these, we've been doing these podcasts I've started to we start to see the trickle of like conversation coming through where people are starting to like notice what's going on and we're getting really good mentions from people but also being attacked but i'm just going to say if you are going to leave comments then we're definitely going to respond to them yeah for sure and i mean i think you know in some ways you kind of said people don't understand zeolites and definitely there's a lot of people out there that don't understand zeolites but i think in a way some of the kind of queries and questions and maybe even it's often come across as criticism can be coming from a place of having some sort of an understanding Mm. but not understanding the differentiation between tox prevent and other zeolite products Mm. and i think this is why we speak so passionately about tox prevent specifically because there's two points of conversation here there's one we're talking about zeolite as um as a binder, as a thing that has so many amazing benefits to the body, particularly in this modern world where we're exposed to so many toxins and uh, we have a lot of histamine outbreaks and things like that. Mm. But then there's the other side of things where, you know, we're talking about tox prevent versus other zeolite products on the market, which, Mm. you know, before we got into our found tox prevent you know we were looking for the evidence these companies to give us the evidence to show us that their zeolite product was safe because Mm. we knew the benefits of zeolite but they can't show that and based on what we know about zeolite we know that putting a ton of zeolite into a plastic tub or a dropper or having it exposed to the elements for a long time like that can't be a good thing so i appreciate what some people are saying in that there probably are a lot of zeolite products out there that are containing you know aluminium or other metals or other toxins that they shouldn't be they've bound to those in their kind of environment or in their packaging and then we're ingesting them and we don't know what's happening because there isn't the evidence there that's not the case with tox prevent that's why we are going through so many painful slow expensive processes around registering it as a medical device and like i don't know if people appreciate how much more difficult it is to register something as a medical device do all of the research do all of the clinical studies um package the product in the way that we do, that adds such an expense to the product, Mm -hmm. except it's important to maintain the integrity because this is why it's important to kind of understand the product so Mm -hmm. then you can make a clear assessment. So I know it kind of, you know, it can rub you up the wrong way sometimes because you're so passionate. And particularly when people suggest that tox prevent does this because but I think really it's a misunderstanding and we just need to talk more about it and re-educate. Now, could people be a little bit nicer in the comments yeah. sometimes? <laughs> There's ways of asking questions without being rude, you know, just saying that <laughs> that isn't the worst thing. 
Um, but you know, all in all, I think it's always really good to get these comments and feedback. And because of the, you know, our philosophy and you know there's a lot of people out there that probably won't know us yet and it'll take time to get to know us but because of our philosophy and our grounding in the in the health space and how what we believe and what we strive for i think you know sometimes having these big questions and criticisms is a good thing because it gives us this opportunity to sit here and really address it because we don't want to be those people that are just trying to brush over things um, and confuse people into into following some sort of health rule or health path. We really want to break things down and understand them. There's going to be things that we don't understand yet. Mm. You know, there's going to be things we understand really well, but actually maybe it differs slightly from what the status quo is. Mm. And that's why we have this, this platform. Yeah. That's why we've created this so we can talk about it. So I guess in summary, there's aluminium in in all the like products because it makes part of the structure. But you have to produce the safety data to show that it's not being absorbed in the body or it's not exposing into it. And if you look at the studies and the research, it shows you that it's actually removing the excess aluminium from the body. And I think this is kind of the problem with heavy metal toxicity is the reason why it's not spoke to spoken about in the mainstream is because it's not like a one hit like you get this symptom and all of a sudden you you know that that's a heavy metal poisoning but it's like a build up of those toxins over 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 time and so i think yes there is a misunderstanding and yes we do get passionate about it but i think it's not just misunderstanding from a consumer or customer level it's also a misunderstanding from a company level and the thing is these their people aren't they're not mis- not the case of the misunderstanding. These aren't stupid people. They're very, very intelligent people. But I think what's happening is they've rested on their laurels for too long. And I'll, I'll give you an example. So as many of you know, we're currently working on the USA and Canada. And t- we were talking with um, talking with like um, consultants over there. And they were looking at the structure and they were like, oh, Dilly, this is a food supplement. And then when I explained it to them, they were like, oh my God, it's not a food supplement. I was like, no, it's not. They were like, but they've been saying it's a food supplement. I said, it's not because a food supplement adds nutrients to the body. This takes toxins out. I goes, think about the logic there. And they were like, oh wow, we didn't know that. But this has been going for years. I said, this is the problem. The, the bar has been set so low and the problem is because they've managed to get underneath this bar for so long, they've managed to get away from it. And the thing is, like, we've been attacked for people saying you're hiding comments. And like, do you know, just so everyone knows, we the company has to use Trustpilot. Do you know why we have to use Trustpilot? It's because you can't delete reviews. If you leave a negative review, we can only respond to the review and that's it. You Unless the review, the only way the review can be deleted if it's about the wrong company. Whereas a lot of, and the, I don't know if you've seen the legislation is now changing, where basically they've now, um, I think especially in the US and now in the UK, they're now blocking people from deleting reviews to stop companies from hiding negative reviews. So, so it, it, it is the... I think the energy and this everything's now is changing and I think we're about to come into a lot of like what I call the era of light where a lot of things are starting to like come out and come out in a positive way so I am excited to share this with many of people that are following us and their journey and yeah please do leave comments I mean if anyone has any questions about what I've said please ask away I'm mm. I'm always happy to learn and understand more because yeah I'm not and as I always say, Poe body's an effect. And even even I've got learning to do still. Oh, I hate that phrase. <laughs> I'm going to get it on a t-shirt just like there, Poe body's an effect. <clears throat> yeah. But yeah, thank you everyone for my uh, for one of Dilly's famous rants. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, cool. And again, please do leave questions and comments. We actually really, really love reading them. If you want to try and be nice, that's also extra lovely (laughs) (laughs) or even just neutral um even if you dislike something you can say it nicely um we're only human i think i think we should make a rule now if you're mean we're allowed to be mean back i'm just saying i think i think you're allowed to be mean back you always say i can't be and i'm always i'm always i always take your side and everything but i'm just like i think it's time to say if you're mean to us we can be mean back to you Okay. All right, guys. That's all for today. Thank you.